WFNN. Headline News Update. Well, welcome to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White at TFNN. And what do we have going on today? Well, we have pretty much the continuation of last week. Uh, we were looking for maybe 4,000 on Friday. Well, we got it today. A little of that had to do with fairly high short sale numbers in a handful of stocks, uh, especially the uh, uh, the big uh, NASDAQ stocks. And it took them a little bit uh, of time to roll over. Uh, we have some other big movers in the, in the market today. Walmart was lower. Uh, they guided down. It's up about 1% on the day. Uh, most people not believing, I guess, what Walmart was saying. Uh, on the other side, the homeless despot, otherwise known as Home Depot, uh, down about 6%. Docu had a big downgrade today. No other news that I saw other than that. Down about 8%. So we're kind of homing in on these numbers that we probably should have seen on Friday, but a lot of short sellers kind of slowed the roll down into today. Um, I'm not looking for a whole lot more down. Uh, I suspect uh, that we may get down to 3950, 3900 maybe would be an extreme, but I'm thinking you know might even just find it at 3990 and slowly crawl back up uh, over a handful of days. And let's say we get back up to 4075, 4080 or something on the S&Ps, and then it starts giving it up. That pattern would uh, complete uh, what uh, I love as one of the biggest patterns uh, that I trade, and that's the double repo pattern from Joe DiNapoli. So we haven't done that quite yet. So don't want to get the cart before the horse. But we have a setup that if we go up uh, and find some kind of low here in the next day or so in these levels, then go up on very light volume and then start moving lower, generally that is uh, when they lower the boom. So keep an eye out this week as we go into March. Eh, the Ides of March. Be back in a minute. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be